What if you could find a beautiful classic street rod, or an awesome fully restored vintage vehicle, or a rare one-of-a-kind vehicle that would be a thrill to own? Then I found for you 10 such vehicles that are showcased in today's video, and I think you're going to love these. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Hello, American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and this is your premier YouTube video channel to find great automotive entertainment and very nice vintage cars for sale. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the video with number one. 1923 T-Bucket listed for sale that's been marked down from 15,000 to 13,500 in St. Petersburg, Florida. Up for sale is this beautiful custom red 1923 Ford T-Bucket built during the street rod heydays of the early 80s and is an excellent original built condition. Always garage since being built, it is powered by a 1962 Corvette 327 CI engine with a four barrel carburetor and a solid lifter cam. That is mounted up to a four speed in the floor, Saginaw transmission, and this little rod runs and drives great. It's very rare to see a T-Bucket with a four-speed manual transmission. Most are built with automatic transmissions. It was painted gloss red and given a classic black buttoned 1980s style interior when built. It has drum brakes all the way around, so this would be a great car to modernize with some upgrades or just drive it as a classic street rod the way it was meant to be. This is a very fast and very fun T-Bucket to drive and will garner a lot of attention at any car show. Step back to the 80s in this classic street rod style with the seller asking $13,500 or best offer and it comes with a clean title. Now if you see any car in this video that you would like to check out, all you have to do is go over to this video's description, click on the word more and when the description expands downward, find the car that you're looking for listed and then click on the link underneath that car and it'll take you straight to the ad where the car is at for sale unless it has already sold, and then it will say vehicle unavailable. Number two, 1949 Dodge Wayfair convertible roadster listed in Rochester, New York for $23,000. Cruise this summer in fabulous 40s fun with this very rare 1949 Dodge Wayfair convertible roadster. Only 5,200 of this automobile was ever made in the year 1949, and not many have survived. This one always has been garage kept and well maintained and then restored back to its amazing glory. It is powered by the original flathead six cylinder engine with fluid drive automatic transmission and it runs and drives great. For greater safety, front disc brakes were installed and it also received a brand new aluminum radiator to ensure cooling reliability. The convertible top is in excellent condition and works well and the deep gloss red paint looks amazing along with a tan interior that complements the red paint very nicely. A lot of work went into restoring this very rare 1949 Dodge Wayfarer Roadster convertible 
and you could not find one, buy one, or restore one for the asking price of $23,000 or best offer. Number 3. 1947 Lincoln Continental Cabriolet listed in Mount Clemens, Michigan for $12,500. Up for sale is this very rare, very cool, very solid, 100% complete 1947 Lincoln Continental Cabriolet with just 58,000 original miles on it. This is a second owner car with the seller purchasing it from the original owner. This car has been garaged for many years and is powered by the original V12 engine with a manual transmission that runs excellently and has great oil pressure. The seller's installed a new distributor, new plugs, new wires, and it fires right up. The vintage tires holds air and it rolls and steers just fine. The interior is in relatively good shape considering the age of this car and was customized in the 1950s with two-tone paint scheme and trim, dual front bumper, mirrors, and dual rear fender mounted antennas. The car is currently not roadworthy, however, but with a little worry, you can have this rare cruiser cruising down the highway. The seller's asking a low $12,500 or best offer. You won't be able to find another car like this one for a while. So make this one your dream car to restore for a very low asking price. Okay, let's pause and check out my Tri-5 Chevy Project Finds segment. Where I try to each week on the internet look up and try to find what I think is the best deal for an investment of a project car in the 1955, 56, or 57 Chevrolet car line. Today's a great one too. This one is a 1955 Chevy four-door sedan that is listed in Denver, Colorado for $5,000. For sale is this 1955 Chevy four-door sedan that is priced to sell and with a clean Colorado title. The drivetrain consists of an inline six-cylinder engine with three-speed manual three-on-the-tree transmission with 116,693 original miles. This car has been sitting around for about 20 years and will run and drive, but definitely needs some work to be roadworthy, so bring a trailer to tow it. The floor pans need replaced or patched, and some work needed in the trunk area as well, but the seller does have a full-length brand-new driver's side floor pan to go with it, all the glass is good and all windows work with no issues. All electrical components work well with the exception of the taillights. And the seller has the original seats that are currently out of the car but do also need reupholstering. He also has four mag wheels and tires to go with it. The engine does have an intake leak and will need a new gasket. A nice little project car that's well worth the money. $5,000 the best offer. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Number four, 1964 Buick Skylark Coupe listed in Abida Springs, Louisiana for $19,000. Up for sale is this very nice blue 1964 Buick Skylark Coupe that is an extremely nice cruiser and almost all original. It has an original 117,000 miles on it and it's powered by the original Buick Wildcat 310 motor with two barrel carburetor and automatic transmission. New items installed or replaced include the following, a new distributor cap, new rotor, new plugs, new flamethrower wires, new rebuilt carburetor, new dual exhaust, a fresh transmission filter and new fluid, the rear differential fluid changed, a complete new oil change, new fuel pump, new tank, 
new water pump, new alternator, new battery, new LED headlights, and new brakes. Interior-wise, it has received new carpet, a new headliner, new trunk carpet, and new interior LED lights. Ten months ago, a clear coat paint was sprayed over the original blue paint, which still looks fantastic because of it being well taken care of and always garage kept. If you're looking for a very awesome 1960s cruiser, then this 1964 Buick will be the one for you. The seller's asking $19,000 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Just want to mention real quick that we are only 703 subscribers away from hitting that 30,000 subscriber mark. And when we do, we're going to have a 30,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway event where I'm going to have 30 items that will be given away that night. Totally, absolutely free and will not cost you a penny. The value on these items ranges anywhere from $10 up to $50, which will be about $500 worth of prizes given away that night. Now be sure to turn on your notification bell so that you will get notified when this video drops and tell all your aunts, your uncles, your friends, your family members to come over to this channel and subscribe so that we can go ahead and hit that 30,000 subscriber mark very quickly and we can give away all these items. I appreciate all you guys and gals. This is going to be a lot of great fun that night of the event and I can't wait to see you that night for the big giveaway. Number five, 1965 Chevy C10 short wheelbase stepside pickup listed in Littleton, Colorado. And it's been marked down from 17000 to 14500 Up for sale by its third owner is this very cool low rider black 1965 Chevy C10 short wheelbase stepside pickup. It is powered by a small block Chevy 350 engine with an automatic transmission and it runs and drives great. For added stop and reliability, disc brakes have been added up front, and for a, a smooth ride, a brand new air suspension has been added. You can raise it or lower it at the desired height you want to drive it. New 20-inch Detroit steel wheels and tires have been added for a great custom look. The original seat has been temporarily covered with a Mexican blanket, but he does have a newly reupholstered red bench seat to replace the one that's currently installed. These 65 Chevy pickup short wheelbase step side pickups are getting harder to find, and this one will make anyone an excellent cruiser that will definitely turn heads. The seller's asking $14,500 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title, and sorry, no trades wanted. So guys, tell me what you think about this pickup. I think it's pretty sharp. would love to own it myself. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. All righty, let's pause again for the It Came From The Internet segment, where each week I go on the internet and try to find the wildest and craziest custom car up there for sale and sometimes the wildest rare cars but today one is really wild let's check it out 1965 ford mustang coupe street legal funny car listed in york pennsylvania for thirty four thousand nine hundred dollars for sale is this very wild green 1965 ford mustang street legal funny car the body lifts up on hydraulics and is mounted to a full custom tube chassis with a Mustang II front suspension. The four-link rear end is tubbed out and the car features disc brakes all the way around. It is powered by a very powerful 396 cubic inch stroked Ford small block engine and it runs and drives great and has spent a lot of time on the show circuit having been built about 25 years ago. It does have some slight wear and tear which can be expected but it still presents well and displays nicely. This car has approximately 27,000 miles on it since it was built, and there's always been garaged and well-maintained. If you like getting lots of attention and to own a one-of-a-kind customized classic muscle car, then this wild one is the one for you. The seller's asking $34,900 a best offer, and it comes with a clean title. And yes, you can drive it home once you purchase it. 
All right, guys, let me know what you think about this one. Do you think it's wild and crazy? I think it is. Number six. 1933 Ford Vicky sedan listed in Ragley, Louisiana for $12,000. Now, the seller does not list the body design of this purple 1933 Ford as a Vicky, but I do believe it is. You can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or right. It has an all fiberglass body mounted on a custom built frame that features a Mustang II front end and it runs strong and drives smoothly. It has been painted a custom color of purple, highlighted with light yellow and white flames, and along with that is mounted with tongue thrust wheels with newer tires. It is powered by a 350 Chevy small block engine coupled up with a 700R automatic transmission, and it runs and drives very well. The beautiful custom light gray interior looks awesome and goes well with the purple and the flame paint scheme and features such additional items as air conditioning, electric windows, and radio. $20,000 are best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Number 7. 1940 Ford Delivery Panel Truck, listed in Percy, Arkansas, for $22,500. Up for sale by a dealership is this beautiful, fully restored green 1944 delivery panel truck. Until recently, it has been in long-term storage where it was cranked regularly and maintained very well. It has been given a full service and is ready to go with new radiator, new hoses, new fuel pump, and a new carburetor. The original flathead V8 sounds great with old school dual exhaust. It is a great collector car that can double as a rolling billboard for your business. It will turn heads wherever you drive it and will always draw a crowd wherever you park it. This vintage truck drives out very nicely, but understandably has a slower pace than new cars. This is a highly desirable collectible vehicle to own, and you could not locate, could not purchase, and then restore this truck to the very nice condition for the asking price of $22,000. 500 a best offer and this one comes with a clean title so guys this is like one of the very most nicest 1940 ford panel delivery trucks i've seen in a long time you know and uh, for the price of 22,500 or best offer i don't think that's too bad of a deal you can let me know what you think about it in the comments uh, man i just this thing is just really gorgeous that's all i can say about it Okay, be sure and don't go anywhere. we still got a few more cars to showcase. And listen, if you haven't done so yet, please like, subscribe, and share. It won't cost you a dime, but it will help this little channel to grow. Now, in this video, if you haven't seen your dream car or truck yet, then I advise you to check out these other four great videos that I dropped within the past week. There are still a lot of great cars for sale in those videos. And who knows, you just might find your very own dream car in one of those videos. Be sure to check them out. Also, guys and gals, let me know at the end of this video, what was your favorite car or truck in this whole video? Drop it in the comments. I appreciate the feedback. Number eight. 1932 Chevy pickup listed for $25,000 in Palatka, Florida. For sale is this very extremely beautiful customized red 1932 Chevy pickup truck that is not only an award winner, but an awesome cruiser as well. Designed and built as a nod to the 1960s style look of the hot rods, this little truck is powered by a 350 Chevy engine with an automatic transmission, and it runs and drives great. This car will take you to any car show or cruise in with confidence. The fully customized interior features a gray plush bench seat that is very comfortable, air conditioning, radio with a CD player, power windows. Just recently, new parts that were added or replaced include the following. A new alternator, new brakes, new master cylinder, new fuel filter, and a new fuel line. Service-wise, has received a radiator flush with new fluids. It received a red paint job with custom yellow flames that are matched to the yellow rims with white wall tires that are really complements the looks of this 32. The seller is asking $25,000 or best offer. 
And this one comes with a clean title. And guys, I give this one my favorite choice of the night. Number nine. 1960 AMC American Super Sedan. Listed in Freedom, Pennsylvania for $6,000. For sale with only 97,000 original miles is this turquoise 1960 American Super two-door sedan that runs and drives very well. It is powered by the original flathead six-cylinder engine with a three-speed transmission. It has received a new aluminum radiator, a new electric fuel pump, new tires, and new wheels. All the glass is good and everything electrical works as it should. And it also recently received a new interior restored back to the original specifications. This is a super clean, great running little car that is something you can take to cruise in or use it as a classic daily driver. This car drives so well that once purchased, you can actually drive it straight home. The seller is asking $6,000 or best offer. And sorry, no trades, but the car does come with a car cover and a clean title. Number 10, 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air Gasser, listed in West Alexander, Pennsylvania for The seller is offering up for sale this 1954 Chevy Gasser with a classic drag car style that has been modified to be street legal. It is equipped with a 454 engine bored .60 over and a Chevy Performance intake manifold and spacer, Mickey Thompson valve covers, and Gasser style wrapped headers and an aluminum radiator set up with cooling fans. The interior maintains its original Gasser style race look with bucket seats a road cage for safety, and green tinted glass. Additionally, it features a 20-gallon fuel cell mounted in the trunk with an electric fuel pump. The car also has a 1949 Chevy truck straight axle up front and a Ford 9-inch rear end. The body has been painted with a custom green color from the 60s era, and all lettering was hand-painted to achieve a vintage look. The seller is asking for $18,500 of best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Hey, and listen, if all goes well, this coming Thursday night, we will be having the big fun night number seven. We're going to have some free giveaways. We're going to do the fantasy stock car racing. And we got some automotive trivia. It's going to be a lot of fun. Be sure to join us this coming Thursday night for the big fun night number seven event. Turn on the notification bell so you'll get notified in case I end up having to accidentally drop it later date. But I think I can hit Thursday night, no problem. But we'll see you then. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're looking for a great gift item, don't forget to check out the American Rod Shop store. The link is in the description. There you can find great t-shirts, mugs, and a lot of other great items. The sale of these items all goes back into supporting this channel. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. I love you all. I'll see you guys and gals in the next upcoming video.